We're going to turn now to the breaking news coming out of Memphis today. And five former police officers are now behind bars facing a slew of criminal charges, including murder. Investigators say the officers beat 29-year-old Tyree Nichols so badly during a traffic stop back on January 7th that he died three days after the violent encounter. A family attorney claims police body cam footage shows the officers beat Nichols nonstop for three full minutes kicking him, pepper spraying him, and tasing him as he cried, what did I do? The Memphis Police Department fired the officers last week after an internal investigation. Eyewitnesses report Lauren Glassberg in the newsroom with the breaking details. Lauren. David and Liz, a district attorney, saying that his department expedited the investigation because of the extraordinary nature of this case. He said that they worked swiftly and fairly, and now those five officers aren't just fired, they're also now criminally charged. Each is facing a second-degree murder charge in the death of 29-year-old Tyree Nichols. Additional charges Charges for the officers include official misconduct and aggravated assault. While each of the five individuals played a different role in the incident in question, the actions of all of them resulted in the death of Tyree Nichols, and they are all responsible. Five police officers now behind bars. They're charged in the death of Tyree Nichols, who they pulled over in Memphis for reckless driving. They're accused of beating him so badly he suffered extensive bleeding and was hospitalized. He died three days later. And there is body camera video of the traffic stop and the minutes that followed. That video expected to be released tomorrow. And last night, the Memphis police chief urged the public to refrain from violence after they watch it. I expect you to feel what the Nichols family feels. I expect you to feel outrage in the disregard of basic human rights, as our police officers have taken an oath to do the opposite of what transpired on the video. I expect our citizens to exercise their First Amendment right to protest. Her department launching one of many investigations, including a civil rights probe by the Justice Department and the DA in Shelby County saying the officers may face additional charges and others in the police department may also be charged. We all want the same thing. We want justice for Tyree Nichols. It's my hope that if there is any silver lining to be drawn from this very dark cloud, it's that perhaps this incident can open a broader conversation about the need for police reform. And Tyree's family issuing a statement this afternoon saying that the officers being held criminally accountable gives them hope as they push for justice.